Hey guys, a couple of things I wanted to uh, talk about today and show you very quickly. Got an update from Chi Wiz, who makes the Firefly stove that you see here. And one of the things that he has changed is he previously had um, an alcohol stove, as the stove will do alcohol as well as esbit. And of course, it's it's a, uh, a wood burning stove, but he offers these as as an alternative fuel source. And this was the original stove, uh, alcohol stove that he had with it. And he recently changed a few things. Um, these stands, or little wires that he uses for a stand for both the Esbit and alcohol stove, um, they're placed inside then of course sitting on those, those wires. This is also the stand for his windscreen which unfortunately one hand it's a little tough to do there we go sits like that and that's based on the diameter of your pot so in my case using uh, Evernew 1.3 um, fits right in there it's got a small opening for the handles and everything was going along great and then he came up with some new ideas which I had to have and uh, what he's done is he has created a template for those that, that have not uh, already have the stove and have not done this and, and for those of you that are lucky enough to get it now he's changed this so that instead of having to carry these wires with the entire setup he's got holes punched in this case on the, the portal door he's got one down here and then one on each side that allows wires that fold out to become your um, windscreen holder and then he includes a very, very lightweight piece of aluminum to set his new stove, which looks like this. Um, and comes in a uh, little container. And the interesting thing about this container, I'm going to show you here in a second. Um, but basically, carbon felt with um, a ring of carbon around the outside. You may not be able to, to see that. Maybe, maybe you can see it. Um, inside, he's got... Um, again, sort of a, a wicking, fiberglass wicking material. And that just sits down inside the, the stove, because of course you wouldn't have these then. And it sits right on top of that, just like that. Now here's the interesting part. I did a video recently on a sewing kit stove, I called it. And let me grab that quickly for you so you can see. That looks like this. Very similar container. Um, had a piece of plastic, see-through plastic here, and held a little tiny sewing kit over here in Japan at a hundred yen store, basically the equivalent of a dollar store. This one, however, the big difference for me, um, other than being a little bit bigger, as you can see, um, I did the same thing, or very similar, putting the f carbon felt down inside, and I found that uh, one of the, the uh, folks on hammock forums um, Grizzly Adams, uh, Professor Hammock he's sometimes known as, he did something very similar where he put just a ring around the inside, if you can see. Um, I found that that did two things. It burned, it seemed to burn much longer because it would hold more alcohol, at least it seemed like to me. And the other interesting thing was I took this piece of plastic out and by setting that on top of there, I got about an hour and 20 minutes of burn time from one ounce of alcohol. Now it's a very, very low simmer. There's bubbles and it's kind of a, you know, click, click, click bubbling sound. But an hour and 20 minutes, man, you could cook just about anything. Do baking, whatever you needed to do. So I was very impressed with that. So I wanted to try today a couple of different burns and I'll do this. I'll have to do this in a couple of different videos, but I'm going to use Chi Wiz's stove. Um, he could probably do the same type of thing since he's got a container. He managed to find a container that's almost identical to this other thing by just drilling a hole out here. And uh, that way he'd have a simmer ring right built in. I don't think you really need to, other than maybe extinguishing this thing, I don't think you'd need to really uh, to have a, a full lid. Um, maybe it would hold alcohol. I don't know if it would be tight enough to do that, the, the top, but... Uh, you know, if you had it filled and then didn't use it all, but I, it, I don't think it holds that much alcohol. So we're going to give it a shot and see. And uh, if that idea works, I'm going to forward that on to you, Chi Wiz, and, and I'll send you one or two of these just for you to play with. 
and see what you think. Okay guys, let's get ready. Here we go. Okay guys, I could not get one full fluid ounce of alcohol into the stove. I managed to get about three quarters of an ounce. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and light that up. I have two cups of 68 degree water, which I will go ahead and uh, keep a meter on so we can tell how long this takes and, and at, at what point it reaches a boil. I'm going to go ahead and light the stove. So that's running. And get my wind screen on. Get my pot set in. Thermometer in. Start our timer. And we'll see where she goes. I got um, about 25 milliliters of alcohol into his uh, little burner. So let's see where that goes and then uh, I'll do another test with the other one and we'll see how it works out. And uh, I'll be back in just a minute. Okay guys, we're at uh, 4.30 at 2.05. Very respectable time. Two oh eight. Two ten. Two eleven. Four fifty four. Rolling boil four fifty four. There you have it. Really good time. And let's see, I'll do a burnout here to see how long it'll roll before that stove burns out on three quarters of an ounce. I'll be back with you in just a minute. Okay guys, looks like 10 minutes. Um, I still got a little tiny rumbling going on, but you can see the temperature is now backing off pretty considerably. I'm back down to 2.9, 2.08. It's, it's dropping. So 10 minutes is about where I went uh, as far as a burnout on this little stove. So with a boil time of five minutes, roughly under five, um, and a burnout time of 10, I could have obviously gone with half an ounce and still did the job. Um, so I'm going to try and run this other stove now and let's see where we go. And then I'll do a, a um, a simmer test with it as well and uh, see what kind of time I can come up with. 